Okay, Google, set a timer for one week. Oi, what are you doing? I'm making a visual novel in one week. I didn't know you knew how to draw. I mean, I, I really don't. Oh, then you must have quite the writing portfolio. I mean, nah, I don't really have any portfolio. Have you even ever created a visual novel? Uh, that'd be, uh... No. Sounds great. Once upon a time. There was a girl. That's the first line? Oi, laddie. That's not a girl. That's a vaguely elliptical shape that you probably convinced yourself was a circle. Listen, I... I know it's nothing great yet, but trust me, I am not gonna stop until I have a great floating character for my visual novel. So, at first I was learning how to draw just by googling things like how to draw a nose, how to draw eyes, basically very specific things, and then I'd watch these tutorial videos, They'd be drawing, I'd try to draw along, but I would draw with a bunch of little rough strokes and I'd get a bunch of things confused in all sorts of different layers. And it looked all right, but I just had a feeling I was doing something wrong. Oi, laddie, what kind of abomination is that? I didn't know you were drawing the monsters first. You know, it's, it's not too early to call it quits. Yeah, you're right, this is uh, pretty terrible. Maybe I'll just, Draw it 57 more times and maybe it'll be good. And so I looked up more general videos, best practices, and I realized I was doing everything completely wrong. <laughs> this might sound a bit oblivious, but I hadn't really internalized the notion that drawing is about shapes at its core, and really, I should be breaking down whatever I'm drawing into the basic shapes and being confident in each stroke not overdoing it with too many strokes, just trying to get a solid outline based off of the core shapes that make up the image that I'm drawing. The other thing was references. At first I wasn't really using them. I don't know if I thought I was cheating or illegal. Uh, needless to say, watching a few videos showed me how wrong I was and I've now completely changed my strategy. I'll trace the reference image for the mask and structure of the face. That gets the hard part out of the way. And then I'll fill in the details, color, and shading by myself. Oi, laddie, wake up. Laddie. Oh. oh, hey, how's it going? So, uh, how long did that take ya? Oh, you know, like 10 hours. Oh, and you're gonna finish this uh, whole thing in one week? Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, I got the hang of it now. How hard could it be? Boy, laddie, you know the typical story has more than one character, right? I mean, yeah, there would be a couple more characters and like all those characters ought to have different poses and you know different emotions for every character but i'm sure it'll be fine i started the day by drawing a second character his real name is sylvester but he really prefers you call him sly my reference for sly was kirishima from my hero academia and yeah, I think the resemblance is pretty clear. He's pretty happy and excited most of the time, but also likes staying laid back. I created the emotions in pretty much the laziest, I mean, efficient way possible. I pretty much only changed the mouth and eyebrows between each expression. Even with such subtle changes though, one small mistake could really mess things up, so some lines took many attempts. After filling my characters with emotion, I figured I should give them bodies. But there was just one small catch. I had no idea how to draw the human body. And when I looked online, I was told I need to learn anatomy. Daddy, what are you doing? Feel down. I mean, it's been three days and I've only drawn a few faces. I looked up all those tutorials, but I don't know anything about drawing bodies. I mean, they tell me I have to learn anatomy. How am I possibly gonna do this? Anatomy? I have a good friend that happens to know a lot about anatomy. I'll go and get him! So I heard you want to learn about... Anatomy. 
Yeah? Can you help me? I happen to know a thing or two about anatomy. Uh, what exactly is that supposed to mean? Here, I'll show you. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Um, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. You know what? Just don't worry about it. I, I can learn it by myself. Oh, that didn't work for you. No worries. I'll give you the deluxe edition. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Eyes and Well, still don't know anything about anatomy. What should I do now? Oi, laddie. I've got a great idea. What if you just... Give up. Give up? You know what? I don't even know who you are. You just showed up in my house one day. Where'd you even get that blanket? You're telling me to give up on my visual novel? No. You know what? I'm gonna finish this thing, and it's gonna be the best visual novel ever! And I'm gonna do it even if I have to learn anatomy! Alright, we're just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. I got a textbook on anatomy, I'm just gonna bang out the whole thing. All right, we're good to go. All right, so now that I've learned anatomy 100%, it's time to apply all my collected knowledge and trace Murano from Parasite to create the body for Sylvia. Overall, the pose is gonna be similar, but Sylvia will have both hands at her side. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what Murano is doing with her hand there. I'm also gonna make the skirt somewhat shorter. Fortunately, the abstract, nameless high school Sylvia goes to doesn't have dress code restrictions like mine did, where all skirts had to be knee length. All right, time to shade the clothes. I looked up lots of references for this and it really varies. Some clothes just have basic hard shadows. Others look like there were about 79 candles set up in a vaguely elliptical shape around the room. I'm just gonna go for a somewhat more detailed approach and see how it turns out. So really, this just consists of drawing 27 triangles and keeping the best four, then erasing them anywhere between two and nine times. One struggle I've been having is that it sort of just looks like a dark band across Sylvia's torso. It sticks out way too much and doesn't actually look like a shadow. After many attempts erased, even more triangles drawn, and about nine different foot shapes tested out, we finally have the full model for Sylvia. I also finished up Sly's model. I decided to give him a casual outfit to match his personality. If I had to pick one word to summarize the work that we've done, I would say... pants. Tomorrow, let's try to draw some backgrounds because I definitely know how to do that and it should be really simple, right? So yeah, drawing the backgrounds by hand would have taken way too long. I had to come up with another method. I eventually just decided to import an image I got from a Shutterstock free trial into Photoshop, apply some filters, and change the coloring around a bit. I think you can still pretty clearly tell that this came from a photo, but it looks pretty good, and it was a lot less work than making it ourselves would have been. To put this game together, we're gonna to be using Unity. It's the engine that I have by far the most experience with. And there's this cool asset I found called Nani Novel, which is actually specifically designed for making visual novels. And I've heard it's really good and it should streamline the process, so why don't we go learn that? Working in Nani Novel mainly just consisted of learning the scripting language packaged with a plugin called NaniScript. 
It was actually really easy to pick up, but it seems very robust and fully featured. I definitely only skimmed the surface with what I've created so far, but the plugin seems awesome. After many long and tireless hours writing dialogue, I think we finally have a finished product. Let's check it out. All right, we'll just go into play mode here. So I spent a lot of work designing this title screen. I think it just captures the overall themes and significance of the story. It doesn't scream it at you, but after many repeated playthroughs, you begin to glance what it's trying to tell you. All right, let's go to new game. Okay, this is where it gets real. I mean, I'm just gonna let the whole thing speak for itself. Buckle up. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I would go into the analysis, but I think for a masterpiece like this, it's best just left as is. Let the experience just demonstrate its own worth, you know what I mean? Oi, laddie, that's the worst visual novel I've ever seen! What do you mean? I thought it was pretty good. It was 30 seconds of complete garbage! You can't use LOL XD in a visual novel, laddie! Right, jeez. You know, fine, I'll, I'll make it a little longer. I won't use LOL XD. The premise of the story is that Sylvia is finishing up classes for the day and finds a mysterious note in her locker telling her not to go to track practice and setting up a very sketchy late night meeting at the park. Sylvia is pretty confused about who could have sent her this note, so she goes on a mission to figure out who sent it and whether or not this meeting is a real request or a dangerous trap. Who sent this note? And why do they want to meet with Sylvia? Well. That will just have to stay a mystery for now. The last piece I needed for a playable experience was music. Fortunately, I've made some songs before, so I don't need to watch 10 hours of tutorials to get started. For this track, I wanted something that was energetic, upbeat, and captured the lively nature of a high school. But I also wanted it to sound mysterious. There ended up basically being two halves to the song, each half capturing one of those themes. The melody is made up of a piano and a synthesizer that also uses a kalimba sound effect. There's a four measure progression in part of the song, but in other parts, the fourth measure acts as the first measure of the next progression. I normally like to make my own drum line, but for this song I tested a few 135 BPM loops, and I thought they fit. The percussion makes the song sound a bit like a jungle, which I thought might be odd at first, but then I realized high school is kind of a jungle itself. All right, time's up. We didn't really get much of a visual novel, but you know, we tried our best. It's the effort that counts. We learned a lot of cool things. You know, I'd say it was a solid experience overall. Oi, laddie. This is the worst outro I've ever seen. The viewers don't want this wishy-washy, self-reflection nonsense. There's one thing you should do during an outro, and here, I'll show it to you. Viewers, that's right, I'm talking directly to you. I want you to do a couple things for me. I want you to go right now, and I want you to SMASH that subscribe button. I want you to SLAM that like button. And I want you to SLAP that notification bell, so you can keep watching this laddie's videos. You know, he's gonna keep making videos. He's gonna keep making games. He's just gonna keep going at it, I see him every day, he just does one thing on repeat. It's like Groundhog Day here, he never stops. So just go and subscribe, cause you're gonna get content, laddies! Wait, you actually support my channel? You've just been here telling me to quit this whole time. It was all to help you grow, laddie. I do want to see you succeed. And I'll do it by criticizing you every step of the way. Aw, uh, thanks, Blanket Guy with the terrible, always-changing accents. Keep it HD. Welcome to the herd.